Hello, in this video we are going to cover setting up OpenCV on a Windows machine. We are going to be using Visual Studio and more specifically Visual Studio 2017. If you're using a different version, whether that's an older version or perhaps even a newer version, depending on when you're watching this video, you can still use this video. Just make sure you have the VC 141 tool set installed you can get that off the microsoft website but if you're using 2017 then you're all good to go there's one thing you need to download so if you go to a web browser just type in open cv that's literally all you need go to the github page and just go to this open cv you want to go to releases and just get the latest release for me it's 3.3.1 it's the newer one then just check out the newer one if you need an older one there are older ones as well you want to download opencv 3.3.1 vc.exe the great thing about this is it's already been built for windows and visual studio because that is what we're setting it up for the source code is right here if you need that so just download this because that what that is what we will need for setting up i've already got it downloaded and this is what you'll get. If you double click it, you'll get this self extracting archive window and just extract this wherever you want. I've already extracted it and I'll get this folder open CV. You get a sources folder, which we're not actually concerned with. We, we are concerned with the build folder. So you want to copy this build folder. So copy it and now you want to create a folder that will contain uh, OpenCV and our project. So you can create this anywhere. I'm going to create it on my desktop. I'm going to call this OpenCV root and then inside of here you want to create a folder called external libraries. I always like to organize it like this. And then within here paste our OpenCV folder or the build folder I should say. Rename it to OpenCV because that's what it is. The beauty of doing it in an external library folder is if you start adding other frameworks, maybe GFW, FFML, or anything else, you can just have it neatly organized. And we'll get on to the ins and outs of this folder very, very soon. But now what you want to do is create your Visual Studio project here. So just launch up Visual studio 2017 or again whatever version you have as long as you've got the vc141 tool set installed and what i'm going to do is just close this down go to file new project and make sure you go to v visual c plus plus general empty project i'm going to browse to the desktop browse to this folder and here create uh, my project so i'm going to call it open cv tutorial tutorial and now just click ok so this is just creating the project it's a very very simple project and it has no files at the moment. So what we need to do now is set up the code files and the library files for OpenCV. So to do that, you go to right click the project, this one here, not the solution, this one. Go to properties and then in here, go to all configurations. And we only want the x64 really because if we go to the external libraries, OpenCV, there's only an x64 version so you could do this for a two bit but not much point so x64 and there's something missing there should be a c4 slash c++ sort of section and i wanted to show you this screen just in case you don't see that little area and the reason for that is at the moment the project really doesn't know what sort of project it is and for you to know it needs a file so if you create so if I go to add new item and create a CPP, I'm going to call it main. This will be the main entry point for our application. Click add. I'll add some code in a bit. And if we go back to properties, this little category has popped up. So if I open that, go to general, 
go to additional include directories click edit click new and in here you want to type in dollar open bracket solution dir and this just relatively and dynamically links our project to the OpenCV framework that we downloaded so this solution dir so this entire thing refers to the directory that is if we go to OpenCV tutorial where this microsoft visual studio solution file is located the one that you would actually double click to open up your project this is what gets put in in this is what replaces this solution dir and if i were to move let's say this open cv root because this is what the actual project is then this would get updated so that's the fantastic thing about it so evaluated value as you can see so it's just a fantastic way of relatively linking so we want to go into we want to go back from here so we can go into the external library so back is double dot forward slash and now we want to go into external libraries so external libraries forward slash and open cv open cv forward slash and now just include and that's all the code files so also copy this because we're going to need to do something very similar for linking the library file so copy that click ok now go to linker general you want to go to additional library directories click the drop down click edit click new and paste it in here instead of include what you want to do now is go to where the library files are located they're located in the x64 folder vc14 and lib and these are the two that will be linking so if we it's x64 x64 for slash i believe it was lib no it was vc14 then lib vc14 then for slash lib not lib lib click ok go to input now go to additional dependencies and in here we will add these two library files so before we just specify the folder now we'll actually include them so i will just copy the name instead of trying to type it out myself click enter and on a new line you can add another library i don't know why this is not so rename need to just reopen this and we're done so click ok click apply ok before we can actually code on our project there's just one last thing we need to do and that is to go to need to go back to the open cv folder go to bin and not, not, not bin which folder am i looking for i'm looking for uh, this one right here so you want to go to x64 vc14 instead of lib bin and copy these two dll files you will need them and what i'm going to do is go back to our project and where our code file is just paste these here so these will allow us to use the dynamic link libraries and actually run our project so if i put hash include we can now so the open cv stuff isn't working so let me just quickly put a simple application in so return zero and see if we get any errors so no errors thus far but what didn't happen was intellisense should be able to pick up the fact that we've linked opencv so let me have a look at what's gone wrong so in c c plus plus ah i 
I didn't have 64 bit selected. 32 bit wouldn't run anyway because OpenCV is only built for 64 bit. So OpenCV2. And in here, we can start accessing the plain old OpenCV file. If I click run, no errors. Fantastic. It runs. And in here, we can start accessing CV methods. So OpenCV methods start with CV. And we got all of these CV methods and data types. So we actually have OpenCV all set up now. So what I want to do is also run it in the release version. And you'll see in a moment why I want to do this. So once that's done, what this will generate, if I copy the, these DLL files again, this will generate this debug folder, which has an application in there. And what you want to do is paste these into here. And this will allow us to run the exe without having to rebuild it via Visual Studio. So that is it for setting up. Just make sure you follow all of the steps when linking and setting up the folders in the project properties. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, feel free to post them um, on Facebook, Twitter, and all of that good stuff. We haven't actually done any OpenCV coding. or have separate videos covering OpenCV coding. So as usual, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.